Hi there friends! This is Riley Kilo and today I'm going to be talking about how the Depend Fitted Briefs have gone from a plastic cover to a cloth cover, which to me is just heartbreaking. But first I want to give you a little update on how I'm doing. So it's been seven months since I had my orchiectomy and due to the rare complications that happened, um, most people are healed up within the first four weeks. For me, it took it's taken now seven months and there's really no end in sight when it comes to the healing. I'm not sure if it's ever going to get better and so I can barely wear diapers or anything like that now. I can wear them on short stints for pictures and, and for an afternoon and stuff but it, it causes too much pain at this point and I've heard people having to recover for years on this and so it's it's very difficult for me right now um, to not have these comfort items and, and stuff like that. Um, Basically, I can't really wear diapers very often anymore while I'm healing, and hopefully someday I'll be healed up enough to wear diapers, but I can wear them in short bursts. I, I really need to take this time to heal and stay out of diapers and stuff. Um, with that said, it really is great for my mental health to make these videos and to be able to be little, um, because being little on camera is for me a big release too, because I'm, I'm a pretty serious person. I have a lot of responsibility in my life, and so making these videos and being like really cute and fun is a really nice release. So I really appreciate everybody who supports these videos and, and my Patreon and all my pay sites and stuff like that, because um, over the last year things have been very difficult and I was doing really well, you know, on my sites and stuff and things have really, due to my lack of being able to make content and good content, um, things have, have been difficult. So thank you everybody who supports me and, and as for my mental health, I've been doing okay, but it's been difficult not being able to wear diapers and stuff, but um, I have been working on other kinds of content like I recently got this wild little Lord of the Rings Tiger Electronic game, I think it'd be really fun to, to talk about this, make a video about it, but let me know if you'd watch that. Um, I've also been doing some other pop culture stuff where I like recap queer movies and stuff like that. So um, a lot of other stuff coming out, audio stuff and everything too. Um, so I'm adapting and working around while I can't really perform or wear diapers very often. I'm, I'm exploring other avenues. So thank you for following me on this journey and let's talk about diapers, okay? Okay friends, thank you for listening. I got my cute tutu on. Let's talk about some diapers. So I really love the Protection with Tabs 3 Tape Depends. They're not good diapers. They barely hold anything. They're just huge. Look how high the back goes above the padding and everything. Like by any metric, they're a terrible diaper. But from a nostalgia love perspective, I absolutely love them. They are a very important diaper to me historically. They just, they used to be green and have that like very nostalgia um, red and white packaging. And there's just something about how loud they are and the green waistband. And if you're somebody like me who much prefers a plain white diaper with a big wetness indicator over any other kind of diaper. Like I'm really just not interested in like big designs and, and animals or anything like that. Like I want a medical style diaper generally um, because there's nothing I love more than like a wetness indicator and stuff. Uh, the dire lack of wetness indicator amongst ABDL diapers is something we should really talk about as a community. So anyway, um, so I love these. They are just my favorite diaper and they really haven't changed in terms of like sensation since the original ones. Like I still have some of the like original green ones with the elastic on the back and everything. And they still sound about the same. And of course they, the, they've changed so much from a design perspective, but in terms of feel and sound and everything and uh, sensation when you use them, they're not that different. Um, they feel like a plastic bag filled with napkins and stuff like that. They're again, not a high quality diaper. So, and so I want to preface this with, I think that this change that they've made is good. I think from pretty much every perspective outside of my own kink, it's good that they've made this change because the old diapers were way outdated, way less uh, skin healthy, and just I'm sure way worse for our environment and all this kind of stuff. And so this is a good change, but for me personally, I'm heartbroken, oh my gosh, because 
the fact that now we have to hold on to these like a fine wine and there is now a finite amount of these in the world you can't just go to amazon and buy as many as you want is is kind of showing me that it's about the end of the era and that era is the plastic era and so yes there's a lot of um, new diapers and stuff that uh have plastic covers and stuff you can still find a lot of abdl diapers with plastic covers um but a lot of abdl diapers are moving towards cloth covered now um a lot of younger people who are entering the abdl scene um grew up without plastic covered diapers like like many of us um didn't like I, when i grew up i had loves and stuff that were very plasticky the classic barney diapers and stuff and so that is kind of my point of reference when it comes to diapers and for you know younger people the people that are 18 and early 20s and stuff like that um they grew up with the cloth covered diapers that were kind of more um ubiquitous on the market and stuff in the uh, early 2000s and late 90s and stuff so it's the way things are going and again from a complete stepping back away from my kink perspective it is good that they are providing this i mean i'll be real it feels like paper towel you know but it is a lot more breathable than this it's a lot less noisy it's a lot more discreet um, it still has a wetness indicator. I'm wearing one right now. Wore one a little bit earlier when I got my hair cut. And it didn't really feel like I was wearing anything. Just kind of, I mean, these are tragically, there are 20 diapers in this. I mean, they are, this is how thin the old ones are. And they're so hard to get out of the package. You pretty much have to cut the whole package open. Um, but I mean, they are tragically thin diapers. Uh, let me get a, let me get a, a proper diaper. I don't even know what this is, but I think it's like a better dry or something like that. Or a Bambino Bianco, but I mean, look at that. They're, they're tragic diapers. They're not good diapers, but there's something about them that really makes my heart sing because again, they are one of the first diapers that I wore and they're just so crinkly and I love how huggy they are because they have the six tapes and they really just feel like a soft hug and so again these aren't so bad the new ones from in terms of that feeling they still have that kind of huggy feeling but they aren't so loud and um I haven't I haven't tried one yet I haven't used one yet but I imagine that they don't have that kind of like soggy wetness kind of like um I don't know if you you know what it feels like when you you know have that feeling of kind of like the wet plastic and stuff on the outside and how warm it is and everything so anyway before i get too <laughs> too excited thinking about that kind of stuff um i uh it's something i will be talking about in future more i'm gonna be kind of going over the, the difference between them and just kind of giving this a proper look through but i just wanted to kind of announce that if you are a big big fan of the old school ones this is what's going to be on the market now so start boarding you know if you're like me and they mean a lot to you um i'm you know i'm buying as many as i can whenever i can um if they're reasonably priced then you know i'm finding them and getting them and uh again it's kind of sad to think that there's a finite amount of them so um but yeah that's life and you move on and um there's all sorts of other wonderful diapers and if for some reason there's no more crinkly loud diapers you know you can always wear plastic pants you can always wear you know um i have some undies that are kind of crinkly sounding and stuff and so there's always options and we can always adapt and stuff and kind of like certain rides shutting down at disneyland you know sometimes things just move past us and we have to accept that and so kind of like when you have really difficult things that happen in your life you just have to accept them and be strong and and be happy instead of just um, being sad about things that you can't control. So anyway, happy thoughts and uh, I'm gonna go cry about these all. <laughs> um, it is last night I was in bed and I wasn't wearing a diaper and I had a big cry and I just, that's happened a few times where it's just like, I miss them so much. And anyway, big hugs friends and uh, I just, um, I'll be healed soon and hopefully in back in my diapers and feeling good but like I said I did wear a diaper now and these aren't so bad they're not you know I'll be showing some pictures and stuff so okay big hugs more soon bye since he says stay diapered